Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is Man United Inside again. Wow. No captain should do that, especially after that performance. What a disgrace. Bruno has become so toxic. He sulks, moans, and complains. Should be the right time to Bruno Fernandez to leave? Hey, wait. In the exciting world of soccer, things can get pretty intense, especially when it comes to players like Bruno Fernandez. He's a big deal for Manchester United, but this time, he's not making headlines for the right reasons. During a game against Fulham, Fernandez did something that really got fans talking, and not in a good way. Instead of dazzling everyone with his skills, he decided to fake an injury, and fans were not happy about it. Picture this. Fernandez had the ball, and he was getting ready to make a move. But instead of being tackled by an opponent, he suddenly fell to the ground, holding his ankle like he was in pain. It looked like he got hurt, but it turns out he was just pretending. Referee Michael Oliver stopped the game, thinking Fernandez was seriously injured. But just as quickly as he went down, Fernandez got back up, acting like nothing had happened. Fans were furious. They felt like he was trying to trick the referee into giving him an advantage. Social media blew up with people criticizing Fernandez for what he did. They shared memes and jokes, comparing him to other players who have done similar things in the past. But despite all the backlash, Fernandez didn't seem bothered. He kept playing like nothing had happened, showing off his skills like always. Some fans were disappointed, seeing this as a stain on his otherwise great career, but others just saw it as another crazy moment in soccer. Even though Fernandez upset a lot of people with his stunt, one thing's for sure. He knows how to keep everyone talking, whether they love him or hate him. And that's what makes soccer so exciting, again and again. Getafe president Angel Torres has insisted that Mason Greenwood wants to remain at the La Liga outfit beyond the end of his season-long loan deal. The Manchester United striker, 22, joined Getafe temporarily in September after it was determined that he had no future at Old Trafford. Greenwood was arrested back in October 2022 and subsequently charged with attempted rape, engaging in controlling and coercive behavior, and assault occasioning actual bodily harm. Those charges were later dropped by the Crown Prosecution Service. While it was expected Greenwood would be sold next summer, Comments made earlier this week by new United co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe seem to imply the forward could yet return to the club. Torres, though, has not given up hope of finding a way to keep Greenwood at Getafe for a longer period. And, crucially, he claims that the former England international wants to stay put. Speaking to Spanish radio station Cope, he said, He has a clear conscience. He is very comfortable and crazy about staying another year. It's a matter that they, United, have to decide. There is new ownership. They have to decide. In Spain, he has a market, but they, Barcelona, have money. Barca's way of playing would suit him well, but it depends on Manchester United. If it's true, he'll tell me. Greenwood has been in fair form for Getafe this term, contributing five goals and five assists in 21 league appearances. Jose Bordalas' side are currently 10th in the La Liga table, heading into the latest round of fixtures. Greenwood's future has once again been debated after Ratcliffe refused to rule out the possibility of the striker having a future at United. The Ineos chief said of the situation, We will make a decision. Correct. All I can do is talk about the principle of how we will approach decisions like that. Is he the right type of footballer? Are we happy with if he is a good person or not? He's a Manchester United footballer, so we are in charge of football. So the answer is, yeah, we have to make decisions. It's quite clear we have to make a decision. There is no decision that's been made. He's on loan, obviously, but he's not the only one. We've got one or two footballers that we have to deal with and we have to make a decision on, so we will do that. The process will be, understand the facts, not the hype. 
and then try and come to fair decision on the basis of value, again and again. Premier League rivals Liverpool, Manchester United and Arsenal have announced they will play pre-season friendly matches against each other in the United States as part of their preparations for the 2024-25 season. The matches stateside will see the Reds start life without manager Jurgen Klopp, who announced his intention to step down at the end of the current campaign a few weeks ago. When and where will Liverpool, United and Arsenal play each other? The first of the three games will see Manchester United play Arsenal at Sophie Stadium in Los Angeles on Saturday 27 July just under two weeks after the conclusion of the 2024 Copa America, which will also be held in the United States. Liverpool's first game in the U.S. will see them take on the Gunners at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, on Wednesday, 31st July. The Reds will then follow that up with a game against bitter rivals United at williams Bryce Stadium in Columbia, South Carolina, on Saturday, 3rd August. In a statement on the club's official website, Liverpool commercial director Ben Letty said, Pre-season tours always present exceptional opportunities for our supporters, the team, and our official partners to engage in memorable experiences within a key focus market for the club. We know millions of super passionate American fans love this club and what we stand for, a fact underlined when our televised game with Arsenal in December became the most watched Premier League game in U.S. history. The USA is an important market for the club and our partners, with 67 official supporters clubs, international academies across 12 states, and the USA being the number one international market for our merchandising business. We eagerly await the opportunity to bring the club closer to the fans and look forward to playing in these iconic venues. How can I buy tickets to see Liverpool, Manchester United and Arsenal in the United States in 2024? Supporters can already register their interest in obtaining tickets for the matches with each of the clubs involved. Liverpool Liverpool fans can do so on the club website, which indicates tickets for their two games will go on general sale to the public from 9 a.m. ET, 6 a.m. PT, on Tuesday, 27th February. LFC official members, season ticket holders, official LFC supporters clubs, hospitality members and international academies can purchase tickets from 9 a.m. EST 6 a.m. PST on Monday, February 26 using a pre-sale code. Again and again. Behind the scenes, the Red Devils have already begun to act. Man United are reportedly considering Bayer Leverkusen midfielder Ezequiel Palacios, according to a Sport Build report. Bayer Leverkusen's fortunes have turned around thanks to Xabi Alonso, and the German team is currently playing like a winning machine. This season, Alonso's Bayer are top of the Bundesliga standings and looking likely to end the domination of Bayern Munich. Under Xabi Alonso's tutelage, Ezequiel Palacios has significantly improved. The 25-year-old has contributed seven goals while playing primarily in a defensive role. The midfielder from Argentina is reportedly admired by Manchester United. There are rumors that the Red Devils and Leverkusen are already discussing a potential summer deal. Ezequiel Palacios's contract with Bayer Leverkusen does not have a release clause, and his services will come at a high cost. Manchester United are unbeaten so far in the new year, but their record could be in danger following another spate of injuries. Lisandro Martinez and Luke Shaw are both sidelined for the foreseeable future, and their absence will be a huge blow for Eric Ten Hag. That was not all as news broke of inform Rasmus Hoylund suffering a muscle injury that will keep him out for a couple of weeks, and fans are fearing the team will lose its momentum and route to Champions League qualification. The Red Devils, who are currently sixth, are three points behind Aston Villa and five behind Tottenham Hotspur, and new minority stakeholders Enios are desperate to see the side finish in the top four. Again and again, links have emerged with the likes of Graham Potter, Julian Lopetegui, Roberto De Zerbi, and Francesco Farioli, while Thomas Tuchel has also expressed his interest in the job. Sports Zone have now claimed Julian Nagelsmann is relishing the prospect of replacing Ten Hag with Ineos big fans of the Germans' managerial acumen. Julian Nagelsmann has been relishing the idea of coaching Manchester United since last summer. 
The 36-year-old was regarded as one of the brightest young coaches in Europe when he was at the helm of RB Leipzig, with the club playing some of the most entertaining football on the continent. Nagelsmann wants United job. He was soon snapped up by Bayern Munich for a world record managerial fee, and he won the Bundesliga and two DFL Super Cups, but was sacked the following season with his team only a point behind Borussia Dortmund. Now he is managing the German national team and has been described as a mastermind by Sky Sports. He is expected to lead them in the upcoming Euros and after that, a move to Old Trafford could be on the horizon. Fans would love to see Ten Hag continue at Old Trafford, but the manager's tactical choices have been a major letdown with the team conceding control of the midfield time and again, again and again.